image, sort of, in a way. That's how I'm going to use it. So I'm just going to search that. Alright, and you can just pick one that you like. But I will be using... Sorry about that, wait, but uh, alright, I'll be using this little logo right here. What you gotta do is click on it. And then when, once it loads up, right click it and click uh, save image. Save image as, make sure it's PNG here. Save the image, uh, and then exit out. Uh, go back to Photoshop. You get a file. There's different ways to put an image in, but I just go to File Place. Render file place and then you get your render just click on your render it should pop up like this as you can see it has text text underneath it and that little thing right there you can resize it. Right click it and click on place. And make sure you're you're select on the on that layer. Click on the eraser button. Yes. And then just erase everything that you don't want on that layer. Alright, that's good. That's that's a basic logo, but if you want a little twist to it, what you do is uh you can download brushes and uh just Google and Google like Photoshop brushes and you can download really cool brushes and I I'm not sure if I can find a really cool brush, but I'll show you what they do and what they are like this oh a laggy this is a brush right here and uh... when you do it it gives you a little grunge effect but I'm not going to use that because that does not look good in my picture so I'm just gonna I'll put it as white. Yeah, there's plenty of grunges, plenty of brushes out there. There's like smoke brushes, there's paint, paint, uh, like paintball bullets brushes, paint, paint spiders, I mean. Anything you can think of. Like, as you can see, it's kind of over everything, so what you do... Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry guys. Step backwards. Make sure you make a new layer. Make a new layer before you put on the brushes. Just make a new layer. And then, place your brush on. And then drag the layer down. That doesn't look too good in the logo, but uh, there's plenty of different brushes out there that you can use for uh for your logo or anything or signature but, um, 
I'll stop the video real quick and find a cool find a cool brush for you guys. Alright. Hello guys. Um yeah I found I found a good brush. It's a little paint effect. Splatter paint effect I found. Just Google spider paint brushes. A bunch of stuff will pop up. Um to change the color of your brush, go over to the right side over here, click on color, and then click on this little box, and then I clicked on, I put green. And then you can just put your brush, or your paint, paint splatters anywhere you want. Kind of like that, there you go. Um, yeah, so... If you want to do some stuff like that, it'll work out. Um, make sure your brush brushes the layers behind behind the uh, behind this logo and behind the uh, extinction word. And uh, there's your basic Photoshop tutorial. Um, I will be making more. This is not the best logo ever. This is for people who are new to Photoshop and uh, stuff like that. And uh, I'll include all the links and stuff to good websites that give you renders and brushes and fonts and stuff like that. And uh, thank you and subscribe.